Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode here of the Calamity Let's Play. We're finally back with this series, my friends. A lot of you folks probably thought I'd cancelled this series, eh? Mm -mm -mm. So yeah, that does, strictly speaking, mean that I've got three Terraria series running at the same time right now. But you know what? I don't think that's neither here nor there. We've got a nice class playthrough in the form of a summoner playthrough on the 1.4.4 update. We've got the regular Let's Play series, of course. And we've also got Calamity here. So guys, there is Terraria content galore. So my friends, of course, if you're excited for the return of this series, then do be sure to head down below the video and show your support in the form of a like. I would very much appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new around here. Go ahead and check out this series playlist. It will be both in the description and on screen if you want to catch up with the series. And of course, if you do want to go one further with your support, you can use code Python when ordering any of my Apex gaming PCs. So yeah, my friends, we're in the month of December now at the time of me recording this. And as you can see, we got ourselves a Christmas tree in the background. So yeah, my friends, things are about to get a bit more festive. In terms of the face cam, anyway. I'm not entirely sure that I'm going to be doing many Christmassy related things on this particular Let's Play. I'm going to probably reserve all that sort of stuff for the normal Let's Play series. But, yeah. Guys, we've still got some cool things to come in this series. In terms of progression, we haven't actually made a great deal of it. We have gotten up to the point of taking down the Brain of Cthulhu and the Goblin Army. So, coming up next is the Old Ones Army Tier 1, the Hive Mind, and Perforators. So, yeah, guys. I think probably the first thing I want to do, though, is to actually rid the perma-invisibility effect. Because, as you guys may or may not know, if I have a stack of 30 of any of the buff potions, in this game, I actually have that as a permanent buff. So say I've got 30 iron skin potions, that's it. If I put it inside of my piggy bank, we have a permanent iron skin effect. So I think what we're going to do to start off today's episode is we are going to see how much money we got. Oh, that's actually not a great deal. Hmm. We're going to see if we can't get ourselves some uh, permanent buffs, my friends, because I think Having those in a death mode series, which is also on master mode, by the way, I think doing that is going to be well, well worth it. All right, so after collating all of the various buff potions we have in our world so far, this is what we have. There's all the invis potions, of course, but to be honest with you, my friends... There's a lot of buffs that I think I'd like to have on my person. Hunter, being able to see where enemies are, that'd be a pretty good one to have. Mining potions... Huh? Increased mining speed. That's probably a good one to go for, right? We've got Swiftness, another good one to go for. Danger Sense, that's probably, again, another one to go for. Uh, let's see just how expensive or not expensive these various buff potions are. Only if we can build ourselves up to the point of being an absolute master, then, uh, yeah, this is going to be a super easy playthrough, isn't it? <laughs> Anyways, there's the mining potions. I mean, having increased mining speed would probably be quite a good idea. Having a hunter potion, though, a permanent hunter effect, I think that would be a marvellous idea. However, swiftness, I think, might be the way to go here. So if we get ourselves 30 swiftness potions, good lord, it's so expensive. If we were to put this bad boy in here, I should, yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, I've got increased movement speed, my friends. Permanent increased movement speed. I believe I might even be able to get myself a permanent thorns effect as well right now. Since this costs less than a gold coin, I think we may have just enough. Come on. Yeah, just about. And we've got just over a gold coin's worth of money left. So we can have a permanent thorns effect. <laughs> oh, okay. Turns out we haven't even found the unconscious man yet. Which is interesting because that is actually the next thing in progression according to the checklist there. The uh, tier 1 old one's army. We're going to need to go exploring and hope that we find the unconscious man at some point. I mean, according to the little criteria thing here. When Eater of Worlds or Brain of Cthulhu has been defeated... He's just randomly found in the world. Is it because the guy wouldn't have anywhere to move into? 
Could that be the reason why he's not spawned in just yet? Right, you know what? I think for now, we're actually going to skip that. We'll come back to it. If and when we manage to find the unconscious man, we'll get right on with doing the old one's army, okay? But in order to actually progress, I think we're going to go ahead and do the hive mind, okay? And that, of course, means going to the left-hand side of the world. Uh, how this is going to go... I've got no idea, my friend. I feel like I need to, like, re-familiarize myself with the difficulty that is Master Death Mode. Uh, still, surely it can't be as bad as Legendary Mode, right? Right? So, what do you think, my friends? We've got ourselves a fairly alright area here. It's pretty darn flat, and as a result, I really don't see a reason why we can't go ahead and make ourselves a rudimentary hive mind arena here. Only if we do that, we might have ourselves a pretty good chance of actually being able to do this first time. The thing is, if we manage to make ourselves a decent enough arena here, then we can double this up and use it as an Eater of Worlds arena should we need to take him down. So, yeah, probably a pretty good idea for us to uh, get this all done here, right? When you realize there's actually already a free hive mind spawn right beneath us. <laughs> literally, as we're making this arena, there is literally one there. There's a hive cyst. We take that down. We've got ourselves a free hive mind spawn. So, all that's left to be done is for us to place down a couple campfires here. Just so we have a little bit of additional health regen. And, uh, yeah, guys. Should we just sort of give this a go? I think that would be a good idea. So, burger. Yep, that has indeed been uh, consumed. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, the hive mind. Let's see what we can do, shall we? Hey, hey, hey. We're continuing on with our rogue loadout of epicness, my friendos. We're going to see just what kind of things we are actually capable of doing here. All right. Looks like we've got plenty of cool things going on here, my friendos. To be honest, not really too much to uh, talk about, really. Uh, I'm trying to let my stealth bar generate up here. Like here, for example. There we are. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If we could get our adrenaline and rage bar both going at the same time, we might wind up having ourselves a pretty decent time with our damage here. Oh, hoo -hoo. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Any second now. There we are. The disgusting damage combo that is adrenaline plus rage. Okay, yeah, then you're going to do your dash. That's right. He does like a circle and then a bit of a dash. See, a bit of a circle then a bit of a dash. All right, very, very cool. I'm really liking the Myco route, it has to be said. It's such a beautiful weapon. It really, really is. Right, there you go. Do your little thing. <laughs> all right. I mean, you know, we're doing an all right amount of damage. You know, I can't complain about it. Not even freaking slightly, man. Oh, snap. This is going to be a very, very close fight here, my friendos. Maybe, just maybe, we can do the final bits of damage here with the rage effect. Come on, that freaking bar is so low, but so is my own health here. Oh, good grief. Okay. Oh, oh he's done. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh, and we died. <laughs> We did it first time, though, guys. Come on, man. Master death mode. Still, still easy street compared to legendary mode. Ah, oh, hell yeah, dude. Okay. I'm feeling pretty good about that, my friends. I am feeling pretty dang good about that. Right. What I should probably do before progressing on with anything else, right is I think we should go ahead and place down some more of those ready-built NPC houses, right? The intention being that we can get ourselves some more NPCs to spawn in and we'll have ourselves a good time, all right? So I'm going to make, what, six of these things? All right, my friends, time to place an instant village. There we are. Oh, there's one. There's a two. How about a three? And we have to place it on the left here, so it all lines up perfectly. There's a four. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, hang on. Uh, there's a five. And boop. Ah, oh, crap. That one didn't place very well, did it? <laughs> so there we are. Six new NPC houses. The operator has arrived. So has the... Well, this guy's the golfer now. Yeah. 
Look at this. We can buy ourselves a bunch of boss drops here, which is absolutely beautiful, my friends. All right, very cool. I wonder if we might have a chance of finding the unconscious man now. I'd like to hope so. You just got to get lucky, huh? Oh, we did the Brain of Cthulhu, but not the Eater of Worlds. Oh. We accidentally just skipped an entire boss, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so, yeah, there's the hive part. <laughs> well, anyways, we can still go ahead and start on the uh, little display area here. Let's open up the treasure bag here. We've got the Shade Thrower, Demonite Bars. We've got the Rotten Matter here, the Dank Staff, and the Rotten Brain. Ooh. Increased damage when below 75% life. Ooh. Doesn't sound like a bad idea, to be honest with you. Hmm. Okay. What I'm finding interesting right now, though, is the fact that we don't have any lore for that guy. So there's nothing on the wiki to suggest that the lore items have been removed in any way, so I would have to assume... Ah, I just missed it out. There it is. Okay, very good. The hive mind lore. Oh, gee whiz. Hello. Yeah, those guys are a little bit faster. Huh? Right, let's get down here and then we'll read it, shall we? <laughs> The hive mind, a hive of clustered microbial infected flesh. I do not believe killing it will lessen the corruption here. No, I don't think so either, especially when we've got these guys flying at about half the speed of sound. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's just great, isn't it? Oh, hello there, buddy. Why don't you die? There you go. Haha. <laughs> so, remember what I was saying about that arena also probably being fit for the Eater of Worlds? Is it time to, uh, you know, give that a test? I think it might be, you know. <laughs> Alrighty, my friends. I think my next perma buff is going to be Iron Skin. I mean, for God's sake, having eight flat increased defense permanently, you'd have to be an idiot to pass that up. Quite simply an idiot. So, let's get ourselves over here. Oh, they are going to be a little bit on the expensive side. Ah, darn it. We've got 25. Uh, can we possibly scrape up enough money from selling stuff? For us to have ourselves the perma iron skin effect. Guys, I just realized something. I could probably just, you know, go the old fashioned way. Just make up the difference, right? <laughs> oh, I am so stupid. All right, there we have it, my friends. Perma iron skin. Now, I've got to be honest, this is probably not the way the uh, Calamity devs intended for this to be played, you know, having the ability to have perma buffs. But, um,. Yeah, I, I just kind of am rolling with it. I've got it in the game, so why not use it? Anything to make this just a little bit less annoying, potentially? Oh, yeah. Check this out, guys. It actually turns out because we have defeated the Brain of Cthulhu, we can actually make a Crimson Altar. We need 10 Crimson Bars and a bunch of tissue samples, all right? So if we were to head back home and try to get all of that stuff sorted out. So real quick, it just requires an anvil. Okie McDokey. Ladies and gentlemen, the Crimson Altar. <laughs> Let's chuck it down here for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Boof. There we are. And there we are. Worm food. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time. It is time to give this a go. The Eater of Worlds with a rogue loadout. So we've got Endurance. We have ourselves Hunter. I'm hoping that we'll be able to do a fairly all right job. I am going to change this to be daytime because we have a portable sundial, which I completely forgot about. And uh, yeah, guys, we're going to do this thing. I'm pretty dang excited. Mr. Oh. That gnome just got freaking uh, petrified, apparently. <laughs> what a dummy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, buff it up and boof. We're going to do this thing. Hello. Hi. My good grief. There's a lot of segments to you, isn't there? Woohoo. Lots and lots going on here, huh? All right. Uh, well, the only thing I forgot to do is to put the death stare red on. So, uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Um... This is what we're doing. Absolutely boning the poop out of this guy. Uh, to say that this is easy street is understatement of the century. It really, really is. We're about to get ourselves the uh, adrenaline effect here. Yeah. All right. And poof. Adrenaline. Yeah. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> it feels good. It feels good to be able to absolutely pwn bosses again, my friends. Truly. All right. Come on, fellas. Come on. We can do this. If I could get myself the disgusting combo that is adrenaline and rage. And I feel like this battle is about to go bye-bye in just a matter of seconds here. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to go ahead and, uh, you know, pass up the opportunity to do the stuff. Come on. Come on. Keep it going. Keep it going. Yeah. All right. Very cool. Very cool. Looks like he's actually spitting out a bunch of venom here. Interesting. Not something I was expecting, to say the very least. But you know what? It's an interesting change, and I very much like it. It's just adding a bit of depth to the fight, really, isn't it? I mean, this is death mode at the end of the day. If there aren't changes, then there's something wrong. <laughs> oh, Come on, fellas. Come on. This has been absolutely easy street. It truly has been. I mean, would it be worth us trying to do some other stuff here? Don't really no to be honest with you. We still gotta be careful though. We don't wanna be going ahead and getting too far ahead of ourselves, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're not the only one who can inflict venom. Son of a gun. <laughs> Your boy's doing venom to these guys as well. Yeah. Okay. This whole side to side strap is working an absolute treat, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, look at that, we've got ourselves. Yet another load of adrenaline. And also, that's the end of the fight. Was it wasn't even wasn't even close. Wasn't even close, dudes. Wasn't even close. Feels good, man! It feels good to pwn the living poop out of bosses again! I tell you what, I feel like I'm regaining my confidence again. Well, if that doesn't deserve a like, ladies and gentlemen, not only me taking down the Eater of Worlds first time, but also us taking down the hive mind first time. I don't know what does deserve a like, quite frankly. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, there's the Eater of Wilds relic, which is beautiful. We technically already have the law for that particular tier of boss. So, I don't know, actually. Let's just pop over here and let's see what we actually have in terms of our little display area. So, there we are. The Brain of Cthulhu law. The only thing is, I don't think that we're going to be able to get the Eater of Worlds law. Because it sort of uses either or of the bosses in that particular tier. You know, the Burn of Cthulhu, Eater of Worlds tier. It will pick one of those bosses to give you the law for. The other one is just sort of left behind. So what I am proposing is that maybe we try to get not only the Master Mode drop, but also I'm thinking the Mask. And then, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll be feeling pretty good if we manage to get that done, okay? All right, well, you know, that was all pretty easy street, wasn't it? I think to finish off the episode, our end goal should be to go ahead and finish at least one of those display areas, okay? So what I think we're going to do is we are going to go for the hive mind and we're going to try and get the mask because as you guys know in this series, since we don't have master mode exclusive drops for the calamity bosses, we're going to go for their masks instead, all right? So let me go and uh, clear up my inventory. Let's get right back to it. And you know what? I'm actually wondering if I should put down a gnome at that arena in an attempt to maybe boost our luck. Maybe we get ourselves a slightly higher chance of getting ourselves the mask. I don't know if that's actually going to be the case or not. Before doing anything though, my friends, I do believe the time has come to potentially get ourselves another perma buff. I think health regeneration. I'm thinking health regeneration might be our next goal here. So let's open up this chest here and let's see just how many of these things I can make. Uh, eight. Right, okay. That's a fairly all right amount, but I don't believe it's going to be enough in conjunction with our shop here. Yeah, we need 11 more. Ooh, okay. Well, maybe the next time we defeat the hive mind, we might just get enough coins to be able to get the perma regen buff. Rotten chunks, rotten matter, and demonite bars will grant us the ability to make ourselves the non-consumable and very easy to use teratoma, which will simply spawn in the hive mind. All right, and there we have it, my friends, the teratoma. Let's get on with this hive mind farming. Hey. All right, very cool. Another relic. Are we going to get the mask? Yes or no? There's a rotten key. Uh, all right, no sign of a mask, unfortunately. All right, you know what that means. 
Have them all. Be gone, foul creature! Yeah. All right, another one bites the dust, and another one doesn't give me the mask. I have to say, this Myco root might just be my most favorite weapon in this whole mod so far. I absolutely adore it. I mean, it looks like, on the surface, it doesn't look like it's doing a great amount of damage, right? But it really is. When you go ahead and use it in conjunction with a summon, for example, the Death Stare Rod, oh yeah, the damage per second kind of starts to go a little bit nuts, my friendos. No! Oh, I actually got taken out of the game that time. Hmm, bunch of projectiles just flying around on the screen. Yeah, 98 gold coins. All right, I should probably go home and like, you know, put them in the bank. So starting off with the regen, absolutely fantastic endurance and summoning. Oh, wow, there's a lot of them here that might actually be pretty good. Uh, I'm going to go for endurance, though. Because that's going to be pretty darn useful just in general. Uh, what else have we got here? Any, like, super low-costing ones? Oh, really? I think we're pretty good. We've got endurance and regen now permanently available to us. And there we have it. Another hive mind. And, oh, what a surprise. Would you have guessed... No sign of a mask. Ah, darn it! And just to confirm, yes, it does exist, as you can see in the item inventory right there. Hive mind mask. We've just got to get lucky, my friends. It's as simple as that. Oh, you've got to be kidding. The unconscious man, he's literally here. Oh, man. <laughs> he's probably going to get absolutely bamboozled by these dudes now. Oh, for God's sake. Needless to say, we'll save the Old Ones Army for the next episode, my friends. And probably the Perforators as well. The episode end goal is to get the Hive Mind display area done, okay? In other news, now that I've got both an Eater of Souls banner and a Devourer banner, it means that I can take down the cronies that this guy spawns in way more easily. And it took me a long time to realize the reason I've not been doing a great deal of damage per second is because I forgot to put the Death Stare Rod back on after death. Why? Why am I so dumb? It should be criminal to be this stupid. There he goes again. We got... What's that? A plushie? Uh, and guess what? No sign of a mask. Oh, I kept getting caught in the freaking guy's grill. That doesn't really work out for you, does it, when that happened? Got caught in his grill again. Come on, Python. You've defeated him loads of times. You have no excuses for dying. Ah, oh, cool. Hey, guys, at least we got a trophy that time. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Damn it. Come on. This grind is getting a little bit old, if I'm honest with you, my friends. I am just not getting lucky enough to get the freaking mask. I mean, I've even managed to get a trophy before I got the mask. I'm genuinely tempted to just say sod it and just have the hive mind trophy be the thing that's put inside of the uh, little display case area there. I mean, why not? Hey, there we have it. But to be honest, that kind of does make, you know, that whole exercise kind of pointless, what we just did there. <laughs> We did way more fights than we probably needed to. Before wrapping up today, we've got a couple of little odd jobs to do. First of all, we need to paint the little bases of these little uh, relics there, just to sort of match their general colour scheme. And finally, of course, we've got the comment of the day to do. And for today, that comes from Raven Bloodbane, who says, Hey Python, when you want to set up an arena underground, say for Plantera or Queen Bee, check out the City Buster Explosive. It creates a large rectangular area that is perfect for boss fights. Oh my goodness me, I absolutely do want to check that out. Uh, City Buster. Oh, it's got a nuclear symbol. It's got to be bad, right? Well, I say bad, bad, good. Depends on your situation, really. Uh, 50 dynamite and a fallen star will create that. Wow. Ho, 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 ho. Just how large of an area does it actually create, though? I have no idea. I guess that's something we're going to have to figure out in a future episode. But for now, my friends, it is time to wrap up today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode and of course you're excited to see more, do be sure to head down below the video and show your support with a like. I'd very much appreciate it, my friends. 
Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on the future Calamity episodes from the channel here. But for now, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you for all of your support. I truly appreciate it and especially your patience. Two months is a long time to take a break from a series and uh, yeah, we're back and I don't intend on having this series go anywhere again, okay? So, thank you for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.